Okay, let's say we have channel... You see that? Yeah. Channel X. And channel X has X subscribers. Let's say X... Channel X has... Uh, 1,198 subscribers, but we can't see that because YouTube lost its sub count. Okay, what we can see, YouTube will show us like, uh, 1.1k, okay, what did I use on the board again? Okay, yeah. X L equals the one point one and M X equals the K this equals one thousand. Okay, yeah. So we have X L times M X is really close to the subscriber count X. Okay. Now let's say we have channel Y. channel Y and channel Z. Okay, yes, channel Y subs to channel X. And this number goes up, but you can't see that. Okay, yeah, you can't see that that number went up from just XL and MX. It still looks exactly the same to you. Until channel Z subs to channel X. Now, this number rolls over to 1200, and on the sub count, it's now 1.2k. One point two K. Okay, yeah. So this number is now one point two. Okay, yes. Now we've made a change. Now this part's fairly important. How many how many channels have you had subscribe to channel X in order to make it so that it went up? We'll call that number CX. Okay, CX equals 2 in this case because we subscribe two channels in order to make the subscriber count go up. So now we do XL times MX minus CX. equals x. So we can do this to solve that. So xl is 1.2 times mx, which is a thousand, minus cx, which is 2, equals, so 1.2 times a thousand, that's 1,200 minus the 2 is 1,198. So now, if we unsubscribe channel Y and channel Z, the subscriber count goes back to the normal 1.1k. Oh, 1,198 here, and 
1.1 here and this and we have successfully figured out the subscriber count this is how you figure out the sub count with math 